And I live right here in Tiller, um, and I'm the district ranger for the Forest Service of the Tiller Ranger District Office, across the across the river. I'm Cindy Bright, I'm with U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Okay. You guys have done some past years on the restoration last week. You write period restoration, you can spot out how to tell the restoration of the river. And this is one of my last years. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kelly Davenport and I'm also with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and uh, very happy to be here today and with you guys and I'm looking forward to, to working with you all and uh, seeing what you have planned out there for this uh, restoration project. Um, I actually work with uh, uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service's private lands program so um, I work with a lot of private landowners to do habitat restoration work so a lot of your uh, parents, maybe, uh, that, that want to do voluntary habitat restoration work might want to get a hold of you. You have a seat right back here. Right. The district ranger is the one who approved Mr. Baldwin's involvement in the, in the project. And Cindy Bright was kind enough to make contact for me with Mr. Davenport. So these are, are uh, people that are deeply involved with fixing things in the river system and on the landscape. So it's, it's good to be in their company this morning. All right, we'll uh, set a romantic tone here for our presentation. And Bryn, would you start? Um, 
Um, there's going to be many different ways that we're going to be removing these bullfrogs. We actually have somebody coming in to explain to us one of the best methods to remove them. We're going to place mesh fencing around the outside of the side channel, place concrete pipe at the beginning, and let it draw down. Then we will remove the adults, and then we will use a filter rag and suck up the egg masses and the tadpoles and froglets. So these are blackberry bushes, and they're one of the largest populations at, of non-native plants at 3C Rock. They'll be kind of hard to take out because each one of the bubbles in a berry holds a seed. But we'll be working hard, and most likely we will be able to take them out of the area. Scotch broom is a very hard to deal with species because their seeds can live in the ground for up to 100 years. Do you think you're going to live for 100 more years? Hopefully. <laughs> so we're going to remove the scotch broom and then put in native species to hopefully keep these seeds from germinating. This is knapweed, which is rather hard to like plant native species in unless you dig them up because their roots emit chemicals which suppress the native species and so they flourish in areas where they have already been planted. So we will be digging up the roots and plant heavily planting native species to keep them from going back. Thanks. Um, canary reed grass is growing really thickly along the banks of a 3C rock and so we're just going to have to remove it replant and hope that the seeds do not come back. These are the native plants that we'll be planting at 3C Rock. We have Oregon ash, sedges, black cottonwood, south mountain fall alder, and willows. Next. Um, thank you very much. Now you can um, listen to our monitoring team. conducted by Tiller, Tiller Elementary 6th and 7th grade classes under the supervision of our teacher, John Grove, project manager, Stanley Petrowski, and fisheries biologist, Caleb Baldwin. Monitoring for the project includes photo points, riparian vegetation sampling, and canopy cover. Pictures taken will show the changes in vegetation. Photos will be taken after noxious speech has been completed, after native species picking has been completed near the end of the project, September 2012. Photo documentation of the project progress will be conducted during each site visited by our class. Quantitative vegetation sampling will use 5 meter times 5 meter plots distributed throughout the project area. Percent, percent composition by species will be recorded for each plot prior to the project implementation. And then, after noxious weeds have been removed, we will plant some native plants. Percent canopy cover will also be on these plots following the same sampling scale. Conscious vegetation sampling will occur where the pond turtle habitat is identified using one meter by one meter plots distributed throughout this habitat. Percent composition by species will be recorded for each plot prior to the project implementation, and then after nauseous weed treatment is completed near the end of the project. Percent canopy cover will also be taken on these plots following the same schedule. Functional monitoring for the project included bullfrogs, fish, macroinvertebrates, pond turtles, and water temperature. Bullfrogs will be monitored by live stage throughout the project. Prior to drawdown, egg masses and tadpoles will be collected and counted. Prior to drawdown, after bullfrog removal, froglets and adults will be counted. Fish. From this data, our class will then calculate bullfrog densities by life stage. This monitoring will occur twice a year for five years to have this well until the end of the thing. Fish sampling will be conducted prior to the project implementation. During drawdown for bullfrog removal and post removal, fish will be identified, counted, measured, weighed, and then marked at the start of the project. And then prior to drawdown to get population estimates, sampling will be conducted in future years after
after the project has been completed. Sampling conducted will be using electrofishing and cements to remove bulldogs. Macroverbalic sampling will follow the rapid bioassessment of the stream restoration projects using aquatic macroverbalic developed by Patrick Edwards of Portland State University. Samples will be collected using kick nets prior to and after project implementation. Macroverbalic will be collected by students, sorted, identified, and keyed under adult supervision. The students will then calculate indices to interpret stream health. Sampling will occur tw twice yearly for five years after the project has been completed. Pond turtle nesting habitat will be monitored using trail cameras to detect predators. Um, animals captured on cameras will be identified and used to develop a species index. Um, cameras will be placed Prior to the project implementation and will be maintained throughout the project. Water temperature will be monitored by placing a USFS provided hobo temperature monitor. The hobo will be placed within the, air, the project area and every three months temperature will be monitored at the site for five years. We will use the data to learn about seasonal and daily water temperature fluctuations. There are potentially two types of maintenance associated with the project. The first is the continued removal of blackberry bushes at the project site. This will be accomplished after the restoration project has been completed by Tiller Elementary and community volunteers. Previous project of this type completed by SURCP has shown that the periodic removal of new growth from blackberry crown is sufficient to control blackberries until native plants can shade them out. We will continue vegetation monitoring after the project has been completed to ensure that the project continues to meet its objectives. The second type of maintenance may be the continued removal of bullfrogs in subsequent years. SURCP, the U.S. Forest Service, and Taylor Elementary School are committed to the complete eradication of bullfrogs from this critical off-channel habitat. Should subsequent removal activities be required, the basic materials needed included temporary dam for project site isolation, fencing and frog holding tubs, etc. purchased by the grant will be reused to remove bullfrogs. Again, monitoring will be done by Taylor Elementary School to make sure that the project is meeting objectives. Thank you very much. Forest Service, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and Cow Creek Tribe Indians. This is us last year planting trees at the Sour Ranch. Now can I please have a budget? That's a, that's a much a more snowy day when they planted this That's stuff a much though, more so. definitive like uh, monitoring program than that a lot of my projects have. So mm -hmm. I'm very proud of you guys. It's awesome. Welcome to the I am Joshua Wetzel. I am Joshua Wetzel. Welcome to the 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 Joshua Wetzel. <laughs> for our contracted services, we will need mobilization for all of our vehicles. We will need an excavator for about 30 hours. The subtotal for the excavator and mobilization is $4,125. The grand total is $45,926. Mr. Davenport, we are counting on your support. We are committed to this project. We would love for you to partnership with us in this project by financing the section of Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Please support us. Excellent. Excellent. Mr. Davenport, would you like to dialogue with the
the students and ask questions or wow. I, I think well I, I think plenty of questions will come up. I I'm almost uh, uh, embarrassed of the, the fact that, that, that you guys have put so much to, together on this. It's really awesome and I'm I I'm like uh, totally thrilled to be part of part of this and, and thank you Stan for inviting me into this great conglomeration, this great partnership. Uh, I think in the time since I was you guys' age, uh, it's really I'm really happy to see that you guys have you know become little biologists, I guess, in this, since since that time. I, I don't think I'm trying to remember back when I was your age if I was even thinking about the uh, macro invertebrate, invertebrates and and uh, Chinook salmon and things like that that were out in the stream. So it's I'm really proud of you all for, for coming together, putting together this presentation, and uh, um, I'm really thrilled to, to go out in the field and see what you have. Uh, I definitely will have, I'm sure, some questions along the way. Um, I, I can't think of anything right offhand. I'm just, I'm astounded at the, at the presentation. You guys did a really great job, and, and I appreciate it. Well, I guess the... The bottom line here is that that sounds pretty good as far as your support for the project. Thank you. Good job. Thank you very, very much. Do you have questions for Mr. Davenport? Or for the district ranger? And if you do, if you don't right now, later on, that's okay. When do we start? <laughs> yes, well, today we'll, we'll do a walkthrough of the site. We're going to take Mr. Davenport and the district ranger and Cindy to, uh, and perhaps the supervisor, I don't know. Okay. And we're going to go and do a, a walkthrough of the site. And then uh, starting next week, we, uh, well, first we'll have our bullfrog expert come in. Who is Donna with? Donna What's her last name? Faust. Faust. Donna Faust, who is uh, a bullfrog eliminator expert. We do have all kinds of creative um, ideas coming up from the students. Uh, one would like to bow hunt <laughs> the frogs, and others. But but we're really seriously. Uh, Depending on the population and how we do, we're, we're going to have a bullfrog leg roast. Yay! All right. Bass, bullfrogs, and. Yeah, it's like they taste like chicken. Really? That's what they don't like. They're like, no, tastes like chicken. And then uh, the week following, uh, hopefully, we'll have an excursion to the site with the students and we'll start laying out plots and documenting the species of uh, noxious weeds that are there and setting a record, baseline record of what was there so that when we actually start moving uh, the noxious weeds out and replanting and stuff, we can, we can have a record of what we've accomplished, right? Is that the next step? So when are the photo points going to be set? We're going to have photo, that's, that'll happen next, next week, uh, the 10th, November 10th. I've got Casey Baldwin, Baldwin the horn swapping for that. Sea dog, right? <laughs> That's his nickname. We're very grateful to the district ranger for supporting the project also. Uh, the Forest Service is putting a pretty good head of lettuce into this. Hopefully as time goes along, um, that means money, right? You're picking up my Philadelphia jargon, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully by the time uh, things get going, we'll put in for some OED grants and just really develop a rich program for the school and for the fish. All right, guys, they're, they're going to have a Halloween party today. <laughs> so they're kind of celebrating uh, the success of their presentation. Yeah. As you should. Oh, you, should. you guys yeah. did a great job. Awesome. I'll give you another round. Thank you. thank you, students. Thank you, Mr. Grove. Oh, thank you. I know that my students want to say... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job.